My grandmother passed away just last week. Just prior to her death, I went to visit her on her birthday. And even though she could barely eat or talk, I brought her the same birthday treat she has eaten for years, fresh strawberries. I could sense the happiness in her eyes. Immense joy is found when providing a meaningful and thoughtful gift. So often, greater happiness is found in rendering service rather than receiving it. My grandmother's death made me ponder. Do I have to stop fulfilling her wishes and feeling that joy just because she has passed on? How would this lead to honoring her life in a more meaningful way? And what would her wishes be? What type of things would she want me to do for her even after she has passed on? We ask these questions to people around us, and just like we thought, they all want to be remembered. One thing in particular, my boys and I, we always sign off our text L-Y-K-N, love you, kiss night, or love you, kiss bye. And um, that's just something I would want them to always follow through and do and stay close with each other. Leaving a lasting legacy is important to me because I think I want my children to be proud of what I've done with my life. Um, I want them to be very well educated on the history of our nation and uh, uh, the sacrifices that others have made to make uh, the quality of life possible for them. Oh my gosh, that would just mean the world to me, to know that, um, that I made such an impact on their life that they would continue uh, that legacy long after I'm gone. I always say life is good, that's, that's my, my process, and so somebody attempting or, or making a, a, an earnest endeavor to to say that on a regular basis and try and live it, try and explore it, um, you know, that is really honoring me. It's honoring something that's very, very important to me. People want to know that their family and their loved ones will remember them. What better way to do that than celebrate their life they lived by honoring their wishes? So wouldn't it be great to have a place to store this information so that after a loved one dies, everyone important to them can honor their life in the best way possible. We asked some members of the younger generation what it would mean to them to have a place where these wishes would be stored. It would take all the guesswork out of trying to honor them. I think that's, that's one of the things that we struggle with. It's how does this person want me to act? How do they want me to remember their life? One specifically, I mean, they, these are the people that, that you know, bore my family. They bore my parents, they, and then I, I was born. Um, they, they're the lineage that I grew up with, that I, that I spent time with, that I got to learn from. And so being able to have any possible chance to remember the people they were can help form the person I am today. It's easy to, to always be looking forward and thinking of the future, but it's also good to take a step back and, and remember those that went before and, and those that, that loved you and made you who you are today. We really believe that creating a registry that holds the wishes of past loved ones would enrich the lives of people everywhere. I want to do more than just visit my grandmother's grave. I want to honor her life by continuing to fulfill her wishes in a more meaningful way.